Don Murchison, Dino Chiaro, and I'm president of Carlsbad High New. You're doing excellent, so that's really good news. We here in Carlsbad um, are blessed to have such strong tourism business, but you know, live by the sword, die by the sword. This year, of course, it's it's been far off from what we have been used to and what we have um, enjoyed. There's also some businesses that have taken advantage of this time and have accelerated plans to remodel their facility. And I know you guys know some of these. Um, the Museum for Making Music, for instance, they had already planned they were gonna do a shutdown at some point and they have a massive uh, renovation. They're, they're redoing their facilities, their um, exhibits. And so when this hit, they said, heck with it, let's do it now. And so they accelerated their plan to remodel the Museum for mm -hmm. Making Music. New Village Arts, same thing. They already had a plan to uh, oh, to remodel part of New Village Arts downtown in the village. So they've tried to accelerate that and get that um, done since they can't really be open anyway. And then the Park Hyatt Aviara, they are really close to completing a multi-million dollar renovation of the Park Hyatt. Um, I heard last week that they are that the current plan is to reopen, so to speak, uh, September 22nd, I think it is, right around their time, third week of September. So, um, you know, some of our businesses have tried to use this pause to their advantage. And so looking forward to seeing those places um, when they're done. And we should give a huge shout out to those businesses that were bold enough to um, open up Brand new businesses, first time opens during COVID. And that takes a lot of guts. And, Especially um, the rest of Pure Project yeah. down in Carlsbad <laughs> Village is a little brewery. It's right behind Handel's Ice Cream, across from New Village Arts. They just opened up about a month ago. And if you haven't tried it yet, um, great craft beer, really fun atmosphere. They've partnered with Senior Grubbies and some other restaurants. So you can have food and beverage there. And they built out their little patio. There's a company that joined our chamber called Origins Coffee. They had a whole business plan about um, supplying really cool um, blends of coffee to coffee houses, coffee shops. Well then COVID hit right when they were about to launch and all the coffee shops were like, yeah, we got too much right now. We're not looking to expand or buy or do anything. So she's trying to pivot to go direct to customer now. So Origins Coffee. Um, a hotel just opened. It's technically in the in the Vista Business Park, but it's right where Carlsbad and Vista get another level of stimulus money out there. And it's right now not looking very favorable, like that's gonna happen on Capitol Hill. But um, the concern we should all have as Americans is what kind of debt we're taking on, you know, if we continue to, to do these stimulus programs. I'm not saying there isn't need for maybe some thoughtful pinpoint stimulus things to happen, but um, I, I don't know if it's wise to do the same level that we just went through with the CARES Act um, and, and do that. Because we have had members tell us that they've had a difficult time getting some of their employees back because their employees were doing so well on unemployment and so the motivation wasn't really there. So um, we don't want to do that. We don't want to incentivize people not coming back to work. So. That's a snapshot of what we've experienced in talking with businesses and members and, um, and being in kind of the thick of this over the last, uh, gosh, five months now. Our goal at the Chamber is to continue to provide, um, well, I want to say this. At the Chamber, at the beginning, it was all about information, helping businesses get resources that they needed and direction that they needed to tap into what resources existed. But then we... Our pivot for us in June and ongoing has been, how do we help businesses think <laughs> strategically about cards. surviving and thriving oh, what, in this current reality? I'm not going to call it a new reality because I don't like that term, uh, but it is a current reality they have to deal with. And it, it's more than just about how to get money. Money is a piece of it, of course, <laughs> but... We are trying to help businesses think strategically about surviving and thriving with these situations because if you don't have a plan, if you don't have a game plan about how to bring consumer confidence to your customer base, 
Um, just having money is not going to be enough to make it to whenever that point is where business starts to look again like it did maybe back in 2019. I don't think any part of 2020 is going to resemble what business looked like in 2019. So there's got to be shift, there's got to be a strategy, there's got to be a plan in place <clears throat> to make this work for you, whether you're a retailer or a restaurant or a realtor for that sake, right? You got to you got to make this work for you now so that you can get to the point where, you know, we as consumers and as individuals can kind of get back to the way we used to do things in the past. So, I have no idea how much time I have, if, if there's a mechanism for people to ask questions or not, but um, anybody has a question? Honk, if you have Honk a your horn, like, yeah. I figure out which horn that was. <laughs> um, but you can roll in your window and raise your hand and just shout at yeah. me and I'll do my best to answer it. We're gonna give you a chance for about another 10 seconds and then we're gonna figure you got all the info you needed. No? Thanks for having me, you guys. I, I hope uh, the experience was interesting. <laughs> Good job. Good you will notice that Brett is wearing in his right lapel a little gold star. Good sport of the day message, so thanks for being with us. <laughs> How fun. I'd like Gloria Foote and her grandson to come forward, please. Today, uh, you know that Gloria is usually our Paul Harris Fellow, along with Mimi Gaffey, our Paul Harris Fellow celebrant. But today she's with her grandson, so I will help them with their Paul Harris Fellow. What I'd like to do is introduce you to Gloria Foote's grandson, Brian Nihilus, and he's here. <laughs> He's here uh, for three weeks, going back to his home in Wisconsin, and he leaves Saturday. So Mimi wasn't able to come today. So we wanted to make sure that Brian knew how much we appreciated this Paul Harris fellow that his grandmother is giving to him. And so that he knows a Paul Harris fellow is a $1,000 contribution that your grandmother gave to Rotary International in your name. And so, and so you should know that Rotary International has a million two hundred thousand members. It's thirty-five thousand clubs all over the world, and that the money she gave to Rotary International goes to eradicating polio worldwide. There's only two countries in the world with any polio at all now. We've been immunizing children since. That money goes to wheelchairs for disabled in Africa, it goes to clean water in Central America, it goes to building schools, it goes to all kinds of things the Rotarians do all over the world. So that money that she gave on your name is really making an impact. We wanted you to know how much we appreciate her contribution and that you feel honored to give it. <laughs> so do that. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. I need a tripod. Seed from Wisconsin. <laughs> okay, and Leanne is here, but let me say that Leanne has been just working, working, working. And we have a variety of things she will send out a little later in the month. We have two hands-on projects identified with the North County Food Bank. The first is on September the 25th of Friday.
Comprehensive. Oh, I had to think about it. Like, do I? They need. Should I? We need 25 okay. volunteers, and anyone you. over the age of 16 can participate. <clears throat> so it's a good time if your students are home and would like to try to help someone else. This would be a good thing to do. And then again, we'll do it again on Friday, November 20. We'll send you all of the materials in an email, and it requires your individual registration. But you will be our group. So we are September 25, 1 to 4, November 20, 1 to 4. The ANS already distributed, you know, 10,000 masks. And she's getting another 10,000. So she's been hard at it. We've got a variety of things cooking in that regard. I sent out your suggestions and ideas identifying engage and impact. And remember we did that the first meeting and our subcommittee put them into some order and I sent them back to you. Anything that was bolded is already in play and that was quite a lot actually. And there's some really good ideas still to do. Some deal with in person, some we can do on our own and out and out. But that's something to look at. So thanks Leanne and your team. You've just been doing a great job. Honk if you hear me. <laughs> when I honk, it thank you so much. Yeah. Where's Vince Ponce? Vince, can you come up? Next Friday, next no, next Monday was the fifth Monday of the Rotary Month. A fifth Monday. And in that regard, when we set the original calendar for Rotary, we identified it as a friend raiser. A friend raiser. So that we would have done a happy hour and everybody would have asked their friends to come and just have some fun with Rotary. It was like a tent and lay it Can't do that. long ways on the dashboard. It's a gathering, you know. Um, so we're canceling well, Monday's Rotary. Well, Next Monday we will be dark. It's almost bad now. The following and Monday, we will also be switch the because of Labor Day. So, <clears throat> so, I'm going to ask you and all our members who are not here today, to help us. Vince, Rocco, the Oktoberfest team, are dynamite. Remember, they have changed the whole, Julie too, the whole scope of what, and Brubaker, and the whole variety of things. <laughs> what Oktoberfest is going to look like this year. It's October Feast. October Feast. We're going to be giving away free tickets to members, our friends, anybody who wants them, or they will be able to be digitally <clears throat> added or printed from your home. What we're trying to do is drive customers to those restaurants Brett just described. What we're trying to do is increase business in Carlsbad. What we're trying to do is make sure all of Carlsbad knows Rotary's trying to help. And so, because we're giving away the tickets for free, the only way we're going to get the income we need for our projects and programs is sponsorships business, corporate, individual, joint, anything, personal. Yes, you've already given $120 in your annual dues and it comes out by the quarter. Yes, you could decide to make that a contribution. Yes, you could also, if, if it doesn't work for you this year, ask for that portion of your dues to be refunded. What I'd also <clears throat> like, though, is and next we'll month, your name in the newsletter. August the 31st, <laughs> when you're thinking it's the last day of August, we got to get these sponsorships under our belt by September the 5th. In order to get all those logos and names on our print materials, we've got to get hot on it this week. So what I'm going to ask Vince to hand out to you right now is just a memo and it says some of the things you might need in case you were emailing 
or talking to your friends on the phone. And it, I, it's what I personally am asking you to do in support of our wonderful Oktoberfest team who have really gone to the mat to make this work. So what I'd ask you for you to do, if you can, this week, become a sponsor yourself, find a friend to co-sponsor something. The sponsor brochure was sent to you in an email, the formal sponsor brochure. We'll mm -hmm. send it again today, or when Julie gets done with the newsletter, we'll attach it to the newsletter. We'll, we'll attach the sponsor <laughs> brochure. If you know businesses that have sponsored before, if you know businesses that would like to see their name all around town for a whole month on that poster in those participating restaurants, if you would like to see Rotary Insignia everywhere, if you would like to maintain the budget that we try to give scholarships and our RILA and all of the things we do with those funds, we need help. And so, talk it up. Create a buzz. Wear your rotary attire when you're in those restaurants and when you're out and about. And you don't get just one ticket. You can get a lot of tickets. And you can use them over and over. And you can go back to the same restaurants if you want. And you can share them with anybody you like. We're trying to drive business. And so, I want you to thank me in just a minute to Vince Ponce, Rocco Siesco, Tom Applegate, Joan Bowden, Jim Brubaker, Harry Peacock, Sam Ross, Maureen Simons, Mo Taylor, and Julie Walker. Hop if you congratulate them for their hard work. Skip it, give it to him. What I'm going to tell you is I have my sponsorship with me today. I have it with me today. I'm giving it to Tom Applegate. <coughs> If that works for you, please think of that this week so that we can get those sponsorships under our belt and we can move forward. Brett had it right. we got to figure out how we're going to work with what we're dealing with now. So to all of you, I'd also like to know, maybe when you get back home, there is something for you. You too get a gold star for being a good sport <laughs> today and Josh has those. So everybody... Go out this way and Josh will have a gold star for you and Vince will have the memo. And I would really like to thank you for playing with me today. If you had any fun, give me a honk. <laughs> Good job. I like it. But um, I wonder, um, is she done? Well, there's not much oh. left to say. I think Yvonne's done a great job. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Tom. <laughs> You know, I don't know if many of you saw the article in the patch a few days ago, it was probably last week, and the uh, story was about how many Oktoberfests have been canceled throughout San Diego County, and particularly in Carlsbad. So the same reporter contacted us, and we'll chat with her this week, and we have a different story to tell. We have the story um, that decided to go another direction. So thank you all for hanging in there with us, because there has been lots of twists and turns but I think we really have a great story to tell, and I think we'll be very successful. Thank you. Josh will have a, Josh will have a stop. So we are, in fact, dark for two weeks. We're dark August the 31st, and happy Labor Day. As you're going out, remember, you can share everything about Rotary, everything about Oktoberfest. We're in it to win it, and you'll see that we've got a win for the restaurants, getting more customers, a win for the customers, 15% discount, and a win for Rotary as we try and make it all work together. So thank you for your time today. I hope you had a good time. Peel out this way so you get your two goodies, and thanks for coming. Our meeting is adjourned. <laughs>